Fat Dag is a Weight Watchers leader in Indianapolis, Indiana. However, the views and opinions expressed during this podcast are his own. They do not represent the views of Weight Watchers. And now, here's your host and wingman, Fat Dag. I am your host, Fat Dag, and you're listening to Wise Advice. My weight loss journey failed when I focused on how. It wasn't until I switched my focus to why that I truly transformed myself. Join the show on the web at fatdag.com and follow along on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, all at Wise Advice. Send in your comments, your questions, and your celebrations, and I'll include them as part of the show. But before we dive in, remember, when you're out of points, stop eating points. Hey, I'm honored to be your wingman as we walk through this journey together because I believe in you. Hello there. Welcome to episode 156 of Wise Advice. And once again, always appreciate this community. Uh, thank you so much for your text, your tweets, your, your Facebook post, your connect post, your tags. Uh, incredibly overwhelming, uh, your thoughts of, of prayers and comfort as, uh, as me and my family go through some, some difficult times. But, um, uh, you know, before the live show, my, my wife was able to join us at the live show to say hi and thank you to everybody. And I think you guys will all agree she looks amazing. Um, an incredible strong lady that she is. I'm, I'm extremely fortunate, but also fortunate to have a community such as this where, where we can continue to support each other because we all know, uh, that, that we are better together and we work together and we're just so connected. That's the beauty of this is that we're all working the same exact journey. So thank you for that. If you're curious when we go live, uh, Twitter is hands down the best way to find out when we're going live. Follow Wise Advice on Twitter. If you don't have a Twitter account, just go make one. Follow the only account you need to follow is Wise Advice. Turn on the notifications. As soon as I decide I'm going to do a show, I put it in the calendar and you get an alert. 15 minutes before the show, you get an alert. When the show goes live, you get an alert. Then you'll never miss a show. And at that point, you can jump on Facebook. You can jump on YouTube. You can jump on Instagram. Uh, you can catch the the show wherever it is. And so uh, that's the best way to find out when we're going live. That, the number one question I get is, when are you going live and what time? And I solved that by putting all that information in Twitter. And I do a pretty good job of keeping that up to date. So So thank you for that. Uh, continue to thank all of you who are supporting through the Patreon community. That just continues to grow. I think last time I checked, there was 154 of you who are providing support for the show. Thank you so much for that. But let's dive in to some incredible news. The whole reason we do this is to celebrate and to prove to you that what you're trying to do is possible. Karen out of Long Island writes in and says, Dear Fat Dag, Thank you for the Wise Advice Podcast and your unwavering support of all of us. Today, January 6, 2018, I reached goal. The usual question is always, how long did it take? Today at my meeting, my leader brought me up, and up front and asked the first question she asked was, how did you keep your motivation? I was so prepared for that answer. I explained that we all know that Weight Watchers works, but you must have your why. Once you do, nothing will stop you. Nothing. My original why was to break the family tradition of my parents. They each died on their 66th birthday. This past December, I celebrated my 67th birthday, and I'm proud to say the healthiest I have ever been in my life. Losing 80.8 pounds on Weight Watchers, off diabetes medication, exercising five to six days a week has contributed to my health. I have revisited my why and I'm focusing on my granddaughter's sweet 16 in 12 years. I will post pictures of that day from the dance floor. In six weeks, I will be joining you and the others in Team Lifetime Love, Karen, out of Long Island. Uh, Karen is K.A. Doug 12 on Connect. Uh, you need to go out and follow this guy. Incredible. Outstanding. 80.8 pounds. 
80.8, think of 80.8 pounds. That doesn't happen by accident. You can't just pretend to want to lose weight. You just can't kind of half, half go at this thing. You have to make a decision that you want this more than anything. You have to understand your why. You have to bounce up every single decision against your why. As Karen says, once you do that, nothing will stop you. Nothing can stop you if you know why you're doing this. You never forget it, and you continually ask yourself, do I want this or do I want to make goal? Do I want to sit and watch more TV this afternoon or do I want to make goal? Do I want to go out to dinner again this week or do I want to make goal? I'm sure Karen can attest to you. You don't have to be perfect. You just have to care and you have to stay focused every single day and doing it. It's why we do the show daily. It's why there's 156 episodes. Every single morning you should dive in and listen to something because if you start your day off in the right frame of mind, knowing what your why is, staying motivated, you absolutely can have the exact same success. You can reach your goal. The most amazing thing about this journey is every single person I talked to who's made goal, not a single one of them was a superhero. They were all regular people who knew what they wanted to do and did it. It's an incredible journey. If you're not 100% committed, you're not 100% focused on your goal, you're robbing yourself of an unknown joy that you, that you can only describe when you get there. Karen feels it. She absolutely knows what it's like. And in six weeks, she'll join Team Lifetime. Lifetime. For the rest of your life, you're a member of Weight Watchers. You don't have to pay the rejoining fee. You, you just simply continue working the plan. Now, Karen, again, congratulations. You, don't, you have no idea how incredibly proud of you I am. Uh, the next six weeks, as, as you navigate maintenance, uh, just figure out what your, what your groove is. So you just continue to, to go do some ups and downs and add some points in and figure out where your body works the best with everything you got going on. You weigh in in six weeks uh, at your goal weight, and you are joining us at Team Lifetime. Congratulations. Thank you so much for your email. Thank you for your, for your unwavering support as well. Um, you're a huge inspiration. 80.8 pounds. There are so many people who start this journey with, with you know, 80 pounds overweight that just don't even believe it's possible. Karen just did it. At 67 years old, Karen just did it. Don't tell me you can't do it. Next up, uh, Jill writes in, says, Hi, Fat Dag. My name is Jill. I live in Illinois. I'm sure I'm beating a dead horse here, but this week after New Year's Day, it's the first time that I've been trying to do freestyle 100%. I reached my goal of losing 75 pounds in August uh, under the Smart Points program. I was maintaining below goal at 38 points a day. And then, bam, came the holidays. I'm ashamed to say I really pigged out, the operative word being pig. And I gained six pounds over the holidays. That is terrible. I'm now two pounds above my goal weight, and I'm afraid to go to my first January weigh-in because I don't want to start paying again. I changed my settings in the app back to losing weight instead of maintaining to get this weight off, and to my horror, my points went from 38 to 23 on freestyle. I'm trying so hard to stick with it, but I go over my points every single day when incorporating the zero-point foods. It doesn't make me feel any better to know this is all my fault. But I have never struggled so badly since I first joined Weight Watchers. Is there any advice or motivation you have that can help me? I don't want to fail, and I'm never going back to the way I was. Thank you for your podcast. They have really helped me during this journey. Jill. Jill, congratulations on reaching goal. 75 pounds doesn't happen by accident. You, you, you work the program very, very well to systematically prove that you can follow it, that you can get down to 75 points. 
sorry, 75 pounds down. Uh, when you first joined, the amount of points we gave you when you had to start was significantly more than the 38 that you had on smart points. And at some point, you made the adjustment down to 38. You had to make some changes in your eating along the way. You can do this. Here's a couple things I want to let you know. As I read through your email, I can see a concern that I have is that you are putting too much emphasis on on the negative side of this journey. You're down 75 pounds. 75 pounds. That, that is absolutely incredible. You know how many people on this planet would trade everything they have to be down 75 pounds? You're absolutely a rock star in this program. You totally got this. I want you to reframe your mindset as the rock star that you are. Now, I want you to go to your first meeting in January because there's a couple reasons why I want you to go. The new freestyle plan, it takes an adjustment for you to figure it out. That meeting room needs to see what success looks like. That meeting room needs someone in there who's down 75 pounds, who's figuring it out alongside of them. As you do that, together you sit in that meeting room and you work together back and forth and you make the changes. You're not going to gain 75 pounds in January trying to figure this out. You're going to be okay. Be the prize. Show the room you can do it. Now, what I, what I saw in your email is the, the term that you used is that you don't want to go to your first meeting in January because you don't want to start paying again. Now, I, I believe it's, it's 15 bucks to go to the meeting, right? And then so you said in the month of December, you really pigged out the operative word being pig and you gained six pounds. I'm pretty sure that in order for you to gain six pounds, you probably spent at least $15 on extra food. So you take that out, you reframe it, you go to your meeting, you gladly hand over the 15 bucks because you're in there for the support to get it done. You can do this. Don't, don't stress about the money. It's not a money issue. You know, it's, it's absolutely a mentality issue for you because if it was about the money, then, then you wouldn't have had the money to, to get the extra food over December. So we've established that you can do it. We've established that it's all mental. And what I want you to do is recognize the rock star that you are. As I watch Facebook comments, as I'm doing this show live, the amount of people who are showing the support and who are proud of you, who are saying, you've got this, go, go reframe, go, go take this on and tackle it. You can do this. You said you gained six pounds. You've already lost four of them. You've proven you can do this. Congratulations on losing 75 pounds. Congratulations on reaching your goal. Congratulations on an amazing life that you built. You took control and got it done. Don't give that control back. You don't need to give it back. You absolutely can do this. Out of North Wales, Pennsylvania, Angela writes in, says, Dear Mike, with the start of 2018, I thought now was a good time to tell my story. My name is Angela. I'm 55 and I live in Pennsylvania. I became a lifetime member in 1998 and I'm currently working my way back to goal. Like many people, my number one reason for losing weight is my health. I have a number of chronic invisible illnesses which make life challenging. By invisible illnesses, I mean if you met me at the grocery store or in a Weight Watchers meeting, you wouldn't guess that I was sick. Some of the illnesses I have are related to obesity, including type 2 diabetes, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, and sleep apnea. I also have severe migraines that bother me. The disease which affects my life the most is a rare disease called idiopathic pulmonary arterial hypertension, or pulmonary hypertension for short. Your lungs are a low-pressure system, but people with pH have high pressure in their lungs, which makes it hard to get enough oxygen, oxygen to their heart. And the rest of their body, it can lead right to heart failure. The most prominent symptoms of this disease is shortness of breath. I was diagnosed with this disease December 2015, and the cause of my disease is unknown. 
Because of the pulmonary hypertension, I was hospitalized three times in the spring of 2017. I went back to Weight Watchers August 5th, 2017, and I started an additional medicine for the pH on August 7th, 2017. Between the new medicine and Weight Watchers, I am feeling so much better. My A1C went from 8.0 in June to 5.8 in December. In July, I could only walk 1,240 feet in a six-minute walk test. In the same test in November, I could walk 1,640 feet. I lost 30 pounds in 2017, and I'm working to get back to goal in 2018. Mike, thank you for your service to both our country and the Weight Watcher community. I wish you good focus, 2018. Angela. Angela, uh, congratulations on changing your life. You're down 30 pounds. Uh, Your your step increase from 1,240 to 1,640 is direct proof of your weight loss. When you decided that you were going to make a change, you've completely reinvented your mind. As you reinvent your mind, you can now reinvent your body. The list of illnesses that you, that you described as being invisible illnesses, uh, many of them, as you said, are related to obesity. If you've listened to the show more than once, it doesn't take long to hear somebody else say they've reduced their blood pressure medicine, they've reduced, they've gotten themselves off of diabetes medicine, they, they've controlled their cholesterol, they've controlled their sleep apnea. All of those diseases that are related to obesity can go away if you cure the obesity. If you manage the obesity, you can completely change your life. Obviously, continue to check in with your doc. That, that's the most important piece. But so much of our life is our control. The American Heart Association, uh, you know, we talk, I talked with them back in the, in the fall. And one of the things they told me, which completely changed my mind on this subject, is that roughly 15% of heart disease is hereditary. The other 85% is because we didn't take care of the heart that we are given. And when you think of that, I think so many of us just make the assumption that as we get older, we're supposed to become less and less healthy. And the reality is, is that not true? It's it's as we become less focused on taking care of ourselves, we get more and more unhealthy. Angela, as you now shift your focus back to taking care of you, you can regain many of those health benefits that you'd previously given away. Go do this. You're a lifetime member from 1998. You absolutely know you can do this. It's not a question of can I. It's not a question of is do you think I can. It's absolutely a question of will you. Do you want this? I want it for you. I can't want it more for you than you want it for yourself. But what I can see in your email is a winner, someone who's able to do this, someone who absolutely can take control of their life, already has down 30 pounds, which does not happen by accident. You're increasing your activity. You're changing your life. And as you continue to change your life, you will continue to gain more and more of those health benefits. And that's when we celebrate. Out of Dallas, Mandy writes in and says, Hello, I'm on my first week. I used Weight Watchers years ago and I lost 30 pounds. I'm about five pounds heavier than that now at 191. My goal is 150. My question is, I'm really active. I think I will average about 70 fit points a week. Between that and the weeklies, how many extra points should I be eating? I just started listening, but I'm really enjoying your podcast. Thanks. Mandy out of Dallas. Mandy, congratulations on your first week. Way to way to attack it. You know, I used to do Weight Watchers years ago. You lost 30 pounds. You've proven that it works. No one rejoins Weight Watchers because it didn't work for them the first time. They understand that the reason it didn't work was probably attributed to them not sticking with the program. 
You would never pay money to something you absolutely, without a doubt, did not believe worked. So the fact that you've rejoined and you've recommitted, you've proven to yourself that you know this works. You lost 30 pounds before, so you clearly do know that it works for you. As you gained the weight back, it, that, that's something that I did. That's something that I can't tell you how many people did. I realized at this point in my journey, I'm going to have to manage this for the rest of my life. And so similar to your story, you know, I, I would lose 30 pounds and I would quit and I would gain that 30 back. And, and that number no longer scared me. So I, so I would always rejoin at a higher weight than the time previous. I did that for five times. The fifth time I joined was, again, the highest and the most I'd ever weighed in my life. I know quitting this time for me even as I'm sit here at, at you know very comfortable at my goal weight, very comfortable on team lifetime, as I sit here, I know that if I were to give all this up, if I were to try and manage this without the help, the tools, the support, the wingmen who are out there, I know that 210 wouldn't scare me, 220 wouldn't get me back to recommit. I know that it would take probably 270, 280 pounds for me to be scared enough to get back to the program. That's not going to happen to me. What's going to happen is I'm going to continue managers. I'm going to continue to check in with the wingman group. I'm going to make sure I have support along the way and get it done. All of that is the answer to your question. The question, though, about activity doesn't matter if you know your why. But I will give you the answer that you're looking for is that how many weekly points should you be eating if you earn 70 fit points a week? Well, here, here is 100% my opinion on the subject, and, and I'm going to preface it with you've got to figure out that number for yourself. But how I approached it was I used my activity points as extra credit in my weight loss. I did not want to simply go spend an hour at the gym only to come home and eat. My doctor uh, very, very wisely summed it up for me years ago. And um, one of the times I went in to see him, I think I've shared this before, but I went in to see him and I said, uh, he said, Mike, uh, your, your weight's creeping up. I said, yeah, I know, doc. Uh, I said, I'm, I'm going to the gym. I lied to him. I said, yeah, I'm going to the gym. And, and he said, he goes, well, let me ask you something. He goes, what are you doing in the gym? And I said, I said well, doc, you know, I'm, I'm on the treadmill for, for about an hour. And he goes, well, how, how long does it take on the treadmill to burn 500 calories? I said, oh, geez, that's probably a, what I'm doing is probably an hour and a half. And he said, okay, well, let me ask you this. He goes, so, you know, if you're going to burn 500 calories in an hour and a half on the treadmill, the average person needs roughly 2,000 calories a day to maintain their body weight. You're eating 4,000 calories. You're busting your tail to burn 500. You're still overeating. So, Mike, let me ask you this. Is, is Would you agree with me that it's probably easier not to eat the Snickers bar than it would be to eat it and try and burn it off on the treadmill? And when he said that to me, it kind of clicked. I got to the point where I'm like, yeah, you know, 500 calories is a lot of work fitness-wise. And at that point, I said, okay, I've got it. And so as you start on this weight loss journey, congratulations on making a difference in your life. But know that the fitness points that you earn should be used as extra credit in your weight loss. Now, if you're going extreme on it, you know, yes, your body at some point may need some more food. My general rule of thumb, and I can't find this in print anywhere, it's just something I completely made up. My general rule of thumb is about a, eat about a quarter of the, at the most of your activity points. Don't use them strictly to go grab something that you're addicted to. If you're going to dig into the extra food for the week, do it in a healthy manner. But you can do that now with zero-point foods. So here's what I want you to think about is, is if is, here's a hypothetical scenario. If you're used to eating four meals a day because you're working out, and all of a sudden now you can't work out, you now need to find a way to control the habit of eating that fourth meal. Whereas if you train your body to get three good meals a day and you, and you work out on top of that, the days that you can't exercise, the days that you can't work out, you don't have to fight the cravings and urges of eating an extra meal or really bad food. 
If you're working out simply for the sake of being able to overeat and to grab the junk food, you're doing it wrong. Now, I'm not saying you can't have it, you know, because we know if you want it, track it, enjoy it, move on. But if you're solely working out to eat more food, you need to rethink that. You need to use that as extra credit. You need to get to your goal weight. You need to get back to that 30 pounds, down to the place that you knew you felt amazing. And when you get there, we absolutely jump up and down and we celebrate. Mandy, thank you for your email. Go get it done. 70 fit points a week is is significant. Way to go. Uh, Allie writes in, says, Dear Not Fat Dag, I've been doing Weight Watchers since September 2017 this round. You would expect that I would be lifetime by now, or at least somewhere close. No, you would be wrong. I am indeed up from my starting weight. I haven't been trusting the program as much as I had hoped. I have been doing the same things before joining Weight Watchers, but I was expecting different results. Sometimes I would lose a little here and there, but never enough to really kick it in to high gear. When freestyle was announced, I was excited. I thought, well, this is exactly what I need to get my mind in gear and finally lose the weight. Wrong. I tried to manipulate the zero-point foods to my advantage by basically overeating them. Hilarious, I know, since those foods are zero points because they aren't typically foods we overeat with. I did, though. I gained weight again. I was so disappointed in myself for not trusting the program and actually getting some results. Now that 2018 is here, I've had some real big eye-openers. I had blood work done December 16th. It turns out my TSH levels are way off because I haven't been taking my meds. Oops. And I'm on the verge of being pre-diabetic. This is something that scares me to death. I I had gestational diabetes when I was pregnant with my son. I don't want to have to prick my finger to see how much of something I need to eat. I have six weeks to get some numbers in the semi-normal range. There is not a discussion of medication yet, but if I don't make this real and an honest change, I bet that is the next step. Here is to cutting the crap and getting my health in control in 2018. I have some pretty awesome accountability buddies from my meeting that I know I would be worse off without those two ladies. Again, thank you for the work you put into this podcast when you don't have to. I appreciate every single one I listen to. It really connects with me every listen, and sometimes I listen to multiple to- multiple times. Thank you, Fat Dag. Really are truly an inspiration to us all. Allie. Uh, Allie, um, I don't expect anything out of this journey except for the fact that you you give it your all. And so I don't expect that you will be at Lifetime because you've on the pro, been on the program for a set amount of time. That's not how it works. It, it's, this is not a time-based program. You can't join and then four years later be Lifetime. It doesn't work that way. You can join and be Lifetime quickly. You can join and be Lifetime later. The timeline doesn't matter, but it's indicative of the amount of focus, work, discipline, dedication you put into it. You can shorten it a little bit. You can stretch it out. You know, your body is the one in control. You are in control of what you do with the food side of it, with the activity side of it. So I absolutely have no expectations when you join of what day and time that you should be at lifetime. You know, so keep going up. You're, I understand exactly. We talked about it earlier in this episode where you are indeed up from your starting weight. For many of us, that's how it goes. Once we start seeing numbers on the scale, we become comfortable with them. And as we lose weight and that number goes down, as we, as we stop doing it and we get back up, those numbers aren't scary anymore because we live with them. So you, you made a very, very good point in your email is that you joined so many times and and you were doing the same old thing and expecting different results. That's the number one thing that I see is that, that so many of us, you know, we want to join this program. We want to do everything that we've always done, but we also want to lose weight as well. The reality is it doesn't work that way. 
you've heard the quote, you know, it's, it's such a popular quote is, you know, the definition of insanity is to continue to do the same things over and over and over again and expect different results. If you want to look different, you have to be different. If you want to feel different, you have to act different. If you want to lose weight, you have to eat different. There's nothing more to it. Weight Watchers provides a great framework for how to eat different. So generally, if you were already doing that naturally, you wouldn't be joining the program. So as we, you know, as we work with this to try and figure out how to eat properly, you've heard me call this more than once, call this food school, because I wasn't eating properly. I was way overeating. And, and how many of us, the first week we joined, we scan some of our favorite foods and we find out that that one meal is significantly more than we get for an entire day's worth of food? Well, well, no kidding. You know, and so we now have to learn how to make those changes. You know, don't at all expect different results from doing the same thing over and over and over. Go do something different. As you lose a little here and there, the cool thing in that is is that you've proven you can lose. If you said what you did, sometimes I would lose a little here and there. That's the how the program works. That's all you have to do is lose a little here and there. And then continue to lose a little here and a little there. A point two weight loss, you know, for an entire year is a really good number when you don't quit. So many of us want to hop on that scale at that first weigh-in and see a 10-pound loss, and it just doesn't happen that way. As you work this program, there will be days where you gain weight, but you leave that meeting room on fire knowing you can do it, and you spend all of your energy the following week, and you rock it. Trust the program. Trust you to follow the program. Rid yourself of the disappointment because this is not easy. It's doable. It's absolutely doable. It's not hard in that sense, but it's focused, discipline, and effort to get there. Don't be disappointed in yourself. 2018 is here. I, again, in this show, already mentioned that your blood work Yes, they're way off. Follow your doctor's orders, obviously. Continue taking your medication. I'm not a doctor. Don't don't replace any of my advice for the advice your doctor gives you. But but you had gestational diabetes. You're, you know what that's like. And now I'm telling you that with focus, discipline, dedication, you can prevent that. How bad do you want it? Cut the crap, as you said. Get to a healthy weight. Get in control in 2018. I'm using your words. They were looking right at me on this paper. I didn't make this up. This is what you want. Go get it. Use your accountability team to go get this. There are so many people. I can't tell you how many emails I've gotten, and I'll be, I'll be completely honest. The amount of email I get from people who have completely changed their life, who've taken themselves off of a list of medications, is it absolutely was a surprise to me. I had heard it many times. I, I had, you know, I, I knew other people to do it. Even as I knew that, I didn't believe that was possible. I thought my first diagnosis of high blood, blood, uh, blood pressure was it. I never thought, I, I, I made the excuse that, oh, I'm getting older, so therefore it's just natural for me to be on pills. I lost the weight and my doctor took me off the medication. And I can't tell you again how many emails I get that say that exact same thing. If you want to take care of your life, take care of your life. Obesity causes so many diseases, so many of the things that we suffer from, so many of the ailments we just attribute to old age are not old age at all. Sure, getting old has something to do with it, but the reality is it's our inability to take care of our own selves is what makes it worse on ourselves. Stay connected to your team. Stay connected to the podcast. If you haven't already, get over to the Facebook group, wisewingman.com. That'll automatically launch you into the Wise Wingman Facebook group. Join in there. That group is an amazing group of wingmen who are all working to get it done. We continue to tune into the podcast. We continue to reach out to each other. We find someone else to be an accountability partner to. We show them that it can get done. 
as you show them that it can get done. You don't need to be scared to death. You can be happy. You can be thrilled. You can completely change your life, and you can get to goal. That's right. You can get to goal. How do I know that? Because I've seen it done so many times. I've seen so many people who didn't think it was possible do it. These are regular people working regular jobs with regular families, with regular commitments, with regular life struggles, and every single one of them did it. Are you going to join that group? Now accepting applications, apply within. Folks, that's going to do it. Thank you so much for tuning in. I want to know what it is you're celebrating. Let's share it on the air. Go to fatdag.com. Click on Wise Advice Podcast. Send in your celebrations, your comments, your stories, your questions. I'll work them in as part of the show. This show 100% revolves around your story. You telling the world you can get it done so that the world believes that they can get it done. That's why we're together, so that we all know that this is possible. I also want you to be very proud of what you're doing, because just the commitment alone to want to do something different is absolutely amazing, and you're doing it. Well, that's going to do it for this time. Remember that losing weight and getting healthy has nothing to do with luck. Nothing. You have to remain disciplined. You have to remain focused, set your sights on your goal, and go after it. I wish you good focus. Thank you for listening to the Wise Advice Podcast. Did you know for as little as $1 a month, you can take the next step as a wingman and support the show? Visit fatdag.com, click on Become a Patron today.